So yeah, they ended it with uh, page 38, Days in My Stepsister, June 7th. Wow, that's actually a slow progression for the anime. That, okay, they adapted this faithfully. Yo, what's up, Tiff? It's me, the Tiff Monster here again, and I'm going to watch Gimai Seikatsu ahead because they have officially, well, the translations have been officially out, but Crunchyroll hasn't released it yet because it's going to air on July 4th. I'm going to watch this ahead, but I will watch this legally again off camera because that's how much I love the series. And that's how much I support the series because if you guys may not know, I am a big fan of Gimai Seikatsu Days with My Stepsister by buying the light novels legally. And at the same time, I read the novels. Alright, I am currently in volume 5, almost done at volume 5. I'm planning to catch up with the uh, the recent volume of uh, Days with My Stepsister or Gimai Seikatsu. So, um, yeah. Anyway, uh... I have fought many people online <laughs> regarding Gimai Seikatsu, Days with My Stepsister. The stereotypical mindset people are the ones that I fought, okay? The ones that were, oh, you're a freaking horn dog, Alabama. Yeah, you, you are sick. Like, they call me that. You have no idea what this series is about, so, yeah. Anyway, episode 1 is out. Episode 2 and 3 is not out yet, but the non-subtitled versions are already out. I'm not going to watch them unless they have subtitles now. The reason why I'm doing this, watching ahead, is so that I can edit it faster. And at the same time, next week, where episode 2, or when episode 2 will air, is where I'll be busy. That is when I will... Uh, be doing a lot of my homeworks, a lot of my uh, activities at college, you know, the research, the theses, everything that I'll be doing. Um, that is why I'm planning to watch this ahead from the official release date. So, yeah, um, this is by no means me doing this illegally. Um, this is just me doing something that wouldn't hinder my schedule, okay? So I'm glad that uh, people out there are doing the subtitle versions of episodes 1, 2, and 3. Although episode 1 is the only one out currently, but I know episode 2 will be out soon, uh, as well as episode 3. And I am planning to watch them ahead. Anyway, let's just jump right in to Gimai Seikatsu. I know what this series is about, so no need for me to further explain, and no need for me to um, get my expectations, you know, what I'm only considering my expectations is the animations and the art styles, the quality of the the anime, okay? Because I know Studio D, the director of this series is the assistant director of uh, Sasaki to Miyano, I think that's the title. Yeah, the the BL series. So I don't watch BL uh, series. Uh, well, <laughs> well, anime. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I haven't even watched your anime yet, a GL series, but anyway. Here we go, episode one. Uh, Patreon shout out obviously goes to these four lovely members over on my Patreon. They get the early access, although the $5 tier will get the super early access, and then the $2 tier will get the official release date of the anime release schedule. I'm gonna diverse that, I'm gonna dissect that, you know, into those categories. But uh, yeah, anyway, this is a series that I'm most excited for, along with Oshinoko. So yeah. Anyway, before we begin, please drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the post of other songs. So they won't miss out any of my future videos. You can upload this on this channel. Like I said, I'm only expecting the quality of the anime. All right. Let's see what Studio Dean has to offer. I know that they're gonna deliver because from what I'm hearing from the general audience that have watched this ahead on June 23rd and the people out there that have uh that are fans of the series actually love the adaptation so so far episodes 1 2 and 3 adapted volume 1 episodes 6 to not nah, no no nah, nah. episodes 4 to 6 is volume 2 
episodes 7 to 9 is volume 3 and then they're going to wrap it up on episodes 10 to 12 uh, as volume 4's adaptation and that is where um, Kaho uh, Fujinami's character got introduced right so yeah that's why she's in the opening yeah I get it now and the key visual all right so let's just jump right into step uh, days with my stepsister give my sake so with that being said without further ado without further delay let's get right into it as you can see that's why it has this thing because it's where when the premiere started right off the bat I love the atmosphere the dull gray world キリノアニという Okay. Uh huh. You see that? The non blood relation is used in ex as an excuse to portray them as love interest and even start a relationship. Facts. Factual. As you can see, right off the bat, already hits different compared to other step siblings or sister things, siblings, trope, anime. Yeah. Or series, not just anime. Yeah. You see that? That's what I'm saying. This hits different compared to other series <laughs> as i said it, this hits different <laughs> yeah anyway, let's go mm -hmm. facts facts this is why I love this series so much. Yo, the color, the color, the color. Look at that, look at that, look at that. The crossed paths. The dull gray world has now colors. Keep my secrets. Oh, I'm loving this already. First impression of the quality. Ah, okay. Music by Kitoka. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. There's Akiko, Yuta, Shiori Senpai, Yomiori Senpai. That's the best Senpai. I love her. <laughs> and that's a fact. <laughs> Sneaky. The teasing Senpai. Ah, uh, okay, so this is the first meeting. Alright. Or are they gonna do the the past Bef uh, before that before that event coming home to a stranger? Yeah, okay, so they did that. Wow, that was beautifully directed. That was honestly beautifully directed. They they literally emphasized or established what this world or what this story is all about. They're like, yeah, this is going to happen in this episode, and for now, let's go back in time. Okay, they established what the step siblings story what this step sibling story has in store okay i love that mm -hmm. beautiful work beautifully directed honestly that was that was beautiful yeah yeah okay knowing saki's father yeah. Now that I've read the volume 5, it's really sad. <laughs> you sure it's a little sister? Yeah, but no, but yeah, but no, but. That was so misleading. Look at this. <laughs> that was so misleading. <laughs> he got the wrong impression. And no, it's not a little sister. There she is. Best girl, Saki. <laughs> I 
Yeah, but still, still. She doesn't look like, yeah. Mm -hmm. どうなんですかね。本当に怖い人は優しい顔をしてる気がしますけど。ほとんど毎日バイトして大学の学費を貯めてるって成績も優秀だって聞いたし。頭のいい犯罪者って多いですよね。スマート。See <笑><笑> この単時間でそこまで信頼を獲得したんですか。そのユーモア。話し方。表情。どれにも強い熱を感じない。だから私は私の言葉も正確に理解してくれると思って。私はあなたに何も期待しないから。あなたも私に何も期待しないでほしい
っさりなのね<笑>慣れた友達と同じようにするのは難しいけどせっかく腹を割って分かりやすくしてくれてるんだ俺もやりやすいし<笑>やっぱ思った通りだこういうすり合わせができるの地味に助かる学校の友達にこういうスタンスで行くとさ何それ契約書かよって笑われて真面目に受け取ってくれないんだよねだから一人以外はみんな切っちゃったそれはまた<笑>切ってもいい程度の人しか切ってないから何考えてるかわかんないそれを伝える努力もしない子たちの機嫌を伺ってる時間がもったいないし荷物の整理手伝おうか優しいんだ Oh my god, I love this OST. Okay, I love it so much. It's so refreshing. The soothing, calming sound of this OST. Oh, oh it's so beautiful. I love how they're establishing this, you know? <laughs> And it's not like, oh god. <laughs> And it's not like、uh, in the light novel, it's more of、um, Yuta explaining what's happening. No, 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 We're at the same. Yeah. Let's see. I am a good one. 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 うーん、オッケー。後輩くんさん。後輩くん。ずっと女の子の匂いさせてるけど。彼女でもできたのかな変なこと言わないでください。本当に匂います。どれだけイチャイチャしてたらそこまで匂いが移るんだろう。相対します
順番どっちがいい Wow, okay. Hey, yo, okay. That looks amazing. I love how they. What? Okay, the animation is top tier right now. For step sibling slice of life romance anime. I love the little details. Osaki Flow Dozo Oyasmi Ayasa san. Arigato Oyasmi Asamura Kun. Alright, so this is where they ended the episode, right? And the opening. I love this opening so much too. <laughs> I love this opening so much, bro. Suzuki Naraba. Maru. People were actually memeing the heck out of this. They were like, they didn't meet when they were kids. <laughs> I love how symbolic it is, though. It's metaphorical. Yeah, this is beautiful already. I think the reason why this has so much budget for a romance, slice of life, step siblings anime is because. Wait, there's more? Hold on. Is because of how much、uh, this series, this light novel, has so much success in the light novel, YouTube, and other things, manga as well. Like, this sells a lot. This series sells a lot. So, no wonder why it has so much budget. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the diary! Ayo,、hey, okay. I know that they're gonna adapt the diary. Oh, wait, this is the preview for episode two. Yeah. Trade and fried eggs. Okay, so what do I think about this episode one of Gimai Seikatsu or Days of My Stepsister? Right off the bat, peak. It was peak adaptation from the light novel. Okay, so where did they end it?、Um, this is the 7th, 7th of July. So, yeah, they didn't adapt this illustration, okay, because they fast paced it, but they kind of adapted they kind of adapted it around、uh, where is it? Yeah, around here when Saki kind of made that face. Yeah. Yeah, so they kind of adapted it, but yeah, it wasn't like this, you know, when they were sitting. I love how the abrupt cut right there, you know, <laughs> that was way better, actually. But if you want a、uh, slow progression, although it's already a slow progression for the anime,、um, if you want more in detail, then go read the light novel. But as the anime stands out, it's already good. Okay, where did they end the episode? Okay. We're not in June 8th yet. We're still at June 7th. Okay, so yeah, they ended it with、uh, page 38, Days at My Stepsister, June 7th.、Uh, what chapter is this?、Um, hold on. This is chapter one, right? This is still chapter one. Well, chapter one and two. Wow, that's actually a slow progression for the anime. That, okay, they adapted this faithfully. Cinematically and faithfully. Okay, I got high praise for Studio Dean right now. They did so much effort for this anime. I mean, it has the budget, obviously. Studio Dean has to adapt this properly. <laughs> That was good. Right off the bat, this anime is already promising for a lot of fans, for a lot of people, for general audiences. I hope so. I hope that the general audiences actually give this a try after episode one. Because it's not your typical step siblings trope, you know, because it has some psychological aspects to it as well. Because the way they talk is not really similar to other step siblings, like the, My Stepmom Stars, My Ex, which is like a rom com. So, of course, it has those typical step siblings trope and romance trope, rom com trope. So, yeah, the comedy aspects of it. This one. 
has little bits and pieces of the comedy because the comedy is not its main genre. It's only there for uh, an icebreaker, you know. Because this is more focused towards romance, slice of life, and some psychological. So, yeah, it doesn't have that much drama. The drama aspects of it weren't really present. But because, because, okay, here's the thing. This is more leaning towards reality. So that is why they established that in the beginning of the episode. So I love it. They adapted the prologue so well. Peak, this is peak, peak episode one adaptation. Let's wait for episode two's subtitle version. Hopefully it's later tonight if, if uh, the subtitle translators out there get it out as fast as possible. But yeah, I enjoyed it. Thank you for the subs, the ones that did it. You guys are the GOAT. Um, because of you guys, I can upload this faster. <laughs> and at the same time, I'm going to watch this legally on Crunchyroll again. So, obviously, to support the series. And this just shows you how much I love the series. Alright? Even though I watched this illegally, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. I watched this anime illegally because I downloaded the file. I downloaded the anime with uh, the fan translation or the people that translate, you know, the subtitles. That doesn't mean uh, I'm not uh, a supportive fan, okay? I'm just doing this for my own sake as well because, like I said, I'm going to be busy. And at the same time, month of July is where I start to get things, where things get harder for me. It gets tougher with college because July is where our finals actually there are there so i have to uh watch this as fast as possible because i know there was a premiere so i hope that they i hoped at that moment that they um do a subtitled version of episodes one two and three so that i can edit them watch them early and so i can upload them on the exact date you know but we'll see though um thank you for the ones that did the subtitles you guys are truly amazing but I'm going to watch this again on Crunchyroll so that I can support them legally and watch on and watch them legally on their streaming platform, the Crunchyroll site. Okay, because I, I have Crunchyroll. Okay, so I can watch it legally if I want to. Okay, and it's a necessary for me because I want the series to get uh, much attention, get the the love it deserves. Okay, so um, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love the series. I love episode one. Only page 38, by the way. Page, pages 38 of volume one. Look at how many pages it has. It has like, it has 169 pages. <laughs> and they're adapting volume one into three episodes, okay? So it's three episodes per volume. So it's up to volume four, up to the arc where things started to get complicated and at the same time truly wholesome anyway thank you guys so much for watching patreon members the the tfm nation tier gets the early access while the two dollar tier gets the full access on july 4th okay so thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you guys on episode two which i hope they release ahead again <laughs> so that i can edit it so yeah anyway Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. I love it so far. So yeah, peace out.